guess I call myself an interdisciplinary artist and what I mean by that is I work across different artistic forms. Uh, primarily I, I'm a musician, I make music for, for theatre and dance and, and film but I also play in bands and it's kind of really music is my first love and everything I do was pretty much driven by it. So over the last five years or so I've developed a practice around participatory art and by that I mean really just asking members of the public to engage with me as an artist and to in, do many things really, you know, whether it's actually the, the spark of something to create a piece of music or to contribute to an idea that I'm developing. So this idea of that crowdsourcing, developing a community of people to help me make artwork. Stereo Public Crowdsourcing the Quiet is a project that is asking for direct participation from people to contribute to an ever-growing sound map of quiet spaces in the city, primarily through an online platform. So there's a website that people can go to where they can look at the uh, city of Adelaide, which is the first city and to find spaces within the city that they would consider to be quiet spaces and, and that's completely open to interpretation. We're also developing a tool through an iPhone app so people can actually go out, they can record spaces, they can take photographs of it, they can tag those spaces emotionally they get placed on, on the map for the world to see. It starts in Adelaide and over time, city by city, it will become a series of different quiet sound maps of cities that will be created. One of the main aspects of participation uh, for people in this project is that they not only can submit quiet spaces, but then they ask for something back from me, which is a, a quiet composition, which uh, uses the recordings that they've made. I don't want it to just be an empty gesture of here, you know, contribute to my project and fill up a map for me. I actually want to allow people to have a creative input into the project as well by having any material that they contribute, both photographic and audio, to feed that, that material to me, which then gets turned into a creative work, which is made specifically for that person. So they get to own a piece of, of, of music that is theirs, which integrates their sound. It's a cycle of of exchange between me and the audience. But there's different layers, there's not only the technology in the work, there will also be quiet walks of the city, which to begin with I'll be conducting in Adelaide, but I'm putting together a how-to guide of how to make your own quiet maps and quiet, um, quiet walks of the city, and to over time hand that over to other people to be facilitating and to basically have their own autonomous version of Stereo Public for their own city. Essentially because I can never know every city and you know people have intimate knowledge of their own built environments and, and buildings and places. I mean I, I want to create a quiet revolution really I suppose is what I would like to do with this project. Mm -hmm.